Hello! And welcome! To early access! Not really, I'm actually starting pretty late. It's Sunday. Early access started Friday. Um, but anyways, welcome! It's Endwalker! We made it! Oh, I wonder how long the wait time's gonna be. Um, uh... In recent news, Yoshi P gave a week of free game time to everybody because of all the problems everyone's been having on logging in, getting disconnected, etc, etc. So, we begin to Edwalker! Alright, I don't know how long I'll be playing this session, but I am so excited. So excited for what will happen next in the story. Um, in other news, uh, in another another news, uh, I didn't. St I uh, stopped the MSQ thinking there was no MSQ. Oh. 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 Okay. Cool. That's good. That they uh made it more difficult. And, um... And, um... So, uh, yeah, uh, the last time I stopped the session, I thought I was done. But I wasn't done. There was, like, a s Oh, right, the wedding. Um... There was, like... Eight or nine or ten quests left in the MSQ, which was 5.5. Um, and I finished that, uh, and I'm sorry I didn't record that, but I was not feeling well, uh, at the time when I did the quest. So I wasn't at the best of moods, but now, now we can keep going and I realize I have some stuff that don't exist anymore. What? Alright, well... Interesting. But yeah. This 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 is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um in the span of not recording and the last time I did record, I did a lot of grinding in Bosja. And I got the majority of the uh, resistance weapons. Like a lot. Oh, right. They increased. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, I got the majority of the resistant weapons that I wanted uh, all the way through. Um, and some that I didn't realize didn't look that good at the end. So uh, that's the thing. Oh, right. The belts are gone. Sort of. Where are the belts? What happened to the belts? Did they just completely... Re oh, right. They probably gave it to these... Uh, the... Uh, the salvage... Uh, person. Oh! The next ship to sail. Ifu, do you have some time to talk? Yeah. I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Which is, uh, Asahi attacked, or not Asahi, Fan Daniel attacked, uh, one region. This is new music. Let us take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in the multitude of locations throughout the world. Where's this music from? We have since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as the Teleforoi. The Teleforoi stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocent- oh sorry my uh, mouse. Uh, 
Uh, countless innocent kidnapped and imprisoned, their fate per perverted for primal summonings. I'm just going to put it right here if you don't mind. And unless we can find a way with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't get close enough to rescue anyone. This is some nice music. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem to be able to resist being tempered at least. But after what happened to Arnvald and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Oh yeah, we met with Arnvald and now he is uh, in a wheelchair. And uh, apparently the Kyurgens told him he can't walk anymore. But then Fordola uh, hyped him up again and maybe he'll do something in the future with her? Yet, while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telephoroi are under the leadership of Fan Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Xenos Yegelvis, the Crown Prince, and our dear friend. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper state of pit of the, 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 the chaos. Chaos! The capital has probably seen the worst of it for a good while there. I saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession, but that has since changed in troubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance- Oh god, I forgot how Dorian Jay talked in like old English. The air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. Was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with a nary a word spoken, did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. Ah, like the Void Ark from the level 60 raids. If they were indeed thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telephoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. This is really nice music. I'm really into it. Um, I'm so excited, guys. We need to devise a means to counter this threat and quickly before our allies are overwhelmed. The final expansion to this story arc is here, and I'm so excited! We will find a way to Charleyan, I am sure of it. Master Forshnal. Right? Comments? Uh, regarding the final days, we're curious to say the least. The form knows more than it is letting on. Ah, that's right. In the last uh, couple MSQ quests, uh, Master Forshnal, which is the father of Alphano and Alize, came to the conference of New Gridania's leader, I forgot her name, um, and he disowned his son and daughter right in front of everyone. Really weird, like, uh, like, so, like, out of nowhere. Mainly because they disagreed on his outlook on, uh, their grandpa's intervention with the city-states. But anyways, sorry to interrupt. We've just received word from Mistress Kryl. She says the arrangements for your visit has been finalized. You head to Limza Limzinza and board the next ship bound for Charleyan. We're going to Charleyan. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldesian. Come to assist with the order's restoration. What? Restoration? The arrangements may have been settled, but what of your thoughts? They must raise the prospects of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. <clears throat> we must set off at once. Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry as you and wish you a safe journey. Aww. And we're off! Oh, I, I have goosebumps right now. Oh. 
New quest accepted stuff. Yay. Uh, let me just check something. Never mind. Uh, I need a timer because Shadowplay does not require, uh, doesn't give a timer on how long I've been recording. So the only indication of me recording is probably the in, in here, which is I started at 10 and now it's 10, 12. All right, cool. Good, good, good. I guess that's how I should be keeping track now from now on. Where am I going? All right. Oh, that's kind of neat. And like the main, main, uh, main map, my uh, indicator icon appears. Holy shit, it's loud. Oh, what is that? Sage's path. Oh, the sage! I forgot. But anyways, not gonna grab those yet because not really feeling it. Um, let us go to the Arcanist Guild. That's a new UI. Oh, that's kind of neat. It'll give you an overview of where to go instead of just a text icon. Oh, that's awesome. A lot of uh, quality of life changes. Why oh, can't I click her? Okay. Everyone's here, which is good because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. The, uh, the ship for Charlayan should be pulling up into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close at hand. We're going to Charlayan. Oh. Gotta be quiet. This sounds like the Crystal Chronicles music. Finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule, or so I'm told. Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye. It is upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Will this be your first visit to Charlian, Sir Estinian? Uh, Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? I, uh, <laughs> merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. <laughs> Better. <laughs> uh oh. Are you alright, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Oh. Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. But... It's just... We're trying to thrive.
thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Don't say that. That's a death flag right there. Uh Yeah, I'll bring him back. Promise. I'll hold you to that. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. You're still here. <laughs> Boulder! Hori! Coltine! What brings you all this way? Which to assist the maelstrom and the co Oh shit, my bad. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye. We your fellow signs of the seventh dawn will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. This is bizarre because he kind of looks like a young Ganondorf. Is it bizarre to me or to anyone else that Charlayne's like it's time open to the public like a random ship can just get there Then we must delay no longer We will contact you the moment we learn all to value Wish us luck Or maybe they just ported this very specific ship to get there in time or something I don't know. It's, I feel like it should be good, like secret, secret to go to Charlene. Have a safe journey, and please, please be careful. Sorry, I was gripping my mouse way too hard. I'm like so excited. And so you venture forth. Emmet. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. The future undefined and in flux. No. Oh. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Why do I keep getting the feeling that our main character is gonna die at the end of this? There's every everyone, everyone. In the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Everyone keeps saying you're gonna die, or someone's gonna die, or something's gonna end. So hmm. Choo choo! Here we go! To Charlene! Oh, it's right there. It's a lot closer than I thought. We're going to Hawaii. Um, the reason why my free company is calling me is like, um, uh, I haven't been online. I haven't had an online presence for a while, so. Here. What? Feel. Why is the answers going on? Barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. Though we're hardly alone in that. 
Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Such a nice song. Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. Azim, is that you? Or is it Heidelin? In like a spiritual woman form. Hello? My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. Here. It is Heidelin. Holy shit! Why does she have a woman? Like... And thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of light. Why do you have a human form? Why now? She has a mask. Oh. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. Oh, wow. She, okay. Just came out and said it. Self-aware. No. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. times now. Those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to a god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms, monumental, which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians just over yonder. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. Mm -hmm. We shall meet again.
Interesting. Good morning to you too. Taken a look at the island already? Good morning. Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. The muru the what? The prow? What's the prow? What's the part of the prow? <laughs> Good morning. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. Oh, it's playing out like a cutscene now. There she is. Good old Charlian. Just auto scrolling the dialogue. Oh, I see it. Oh. Home. Home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes. But we'll manage on our own. If we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Indeed, it is as Sir Estinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I pray. Thee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Oh, there's the ominous back shot of the moon. Why do I keep getting flashbacks now? Oh, there it is! The walker! Happiness. That's all I feel right now. It's happiness, excitement, dread. Oh, just all of the above. Um, so I got a weird flashback uh, when the answer is gone. Oh. The solitary island nation of the northern sea. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. Yep. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Galian boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. Oh. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Travel visas? Green cards? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Hasn't Charlie in orbit severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. 
May. May. Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Oh! Crown has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Valdesia, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? Well, that was quick. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Grahart here of the students of Baldassian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Ishtola rule. I did not realize that marking on their necks were indications that they were Archons. That's kind of neat. Neat little detail. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. Huh. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Now, who do we have here? Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that, the streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. We shall keep that in mind. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Oh boy. Name and occupation? Oh shit, um... Ifu Momofu... Uh... Adventure by trade. I can be an artisan too. An adventurer? Well, I suppose that is considered a valid calling in your native Eorzea. And it does indeed match the profile provided. 
You may enter. Yay! Easy. Uh oh. Estinian Valinor, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formerly, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? <laughs> His face. Uh. If you'll allow me. Hey, Kral. <laughs> what is this profession? My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Good, good catch. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. Oh. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Oh, I made it. Voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Is it strange with the advent of airships we couldn't oh. get here by airship? Uh oh. Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Ah. As your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. Well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Can, can I? Can I also get a salary? Fifty k an hour. Fifty k. Uh, I'm glad I spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail. And in any case, you may relax and take a moment to get your leg land legs back. Oh. Okay. I had thought to launch directly into the explanation of what I learned and how we might proceed. But this is Ifu's and Estinian's first time in Charlayan, and for the rest of you, a homecoming that was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you've dined to see. Therefore, I propose we postpone our agenda so that you all may have sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings into the city. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldesian Annex. How does that sound? It is a fine suggestion. We might not be welcome at the Levier estate as such, but I should look to those around the neighborhood all the same. Look at that mogul! He's doing so much work. I am equally untethered, as it were. There is no particular place that my kin call home. Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Likewise, a quick tour of our old haunts may even yield some useful gossip. The annex was west of the Aetherite Plaza, wasn't it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. I too have places I would re be remiss in not visiting forthwith by lie leave.
Out of you, Estinian. My services as a guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary until we reconvene. I prefer to wander as the wind takes me. Same. But, but I could... Oh. Well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Uh, of course, if you'll have me. Come, Yifu, Charlayan awaits. But I want to explore on my own too! This is a quest? Oh, alright. Alright! It's been abrupt and a good start, I would say. But I will end it here because I want to get some socks and it's very chilly at home. So I will also look for a blanket and some coffee. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. It's good to be back. Um, and uh, yeah, this seems, this seems like a very good start. Alright guys, have a good one. Hope to see you again. Bye!